Hello there, this is Alejandro and on this tutorial we will create uh, a scene like this one and you can see this is a very peculiar scene this is built by using 3D gradients and it's very nice because it looks like this number is coming from the floor and it's kind of distorting everything, right? Actually it's a little similar to the effect on the second Terminator movie so yeah Let's see how we can build something like this. All right, so I'm going to remove these two objects here and I'm going to create a plain object from the menu here. Um, let's make it something, I guess something like this should work. And let's also reset the position. Now let's rotate this plane to be 90 degrees. Yeah, that should work. Actually, you know what, let's make it to match um here yeah 600 by 600 that, that's fine let's just disable the grip we don't need it anymore and let's also disable the snapping right now we can just go to a smooth and edit to start editing the polygons of this object and let's uh, also increase the subdivision so this is a, a quite simple scene um, the way in which we can build something like this is that we will go and it's true this mesh from this um, plane here so i can see here like for example if i start clicking here like um and i can use a shift key i can kind of like select the polygons and then uh, i can do the same here right so i have my number 10 that's pretty cool so what we want to do is that we want to extrude these faces here or these polygons using the extrusion tool here on the top and then uh, we press here and then we extrude you can see already there is something happening there now let's stop here for a second just to appreciate what we just built now let's just change the color here maybe something uh, like maybe something like this so now that we have this object here we can change the color of the background and i'm going to pick the color of this so now it looks like it's fading away right so that's very nice that's exactly what we want and um, let's just increase the subdivision a little more so it's even more soft right so what we want now is that we want this um object to look like is like some sort of gradient that is coming from the bottom to the top so i'm going to create a, a depth layer which is a 3d gradient and instead of using radial, I'm going to use linear. And instead of going from this side to the other, I'm going to make it so it's going to the top, so it's on the Y axis. Um, actually, because I rotate these objects, it's not in the Y axis anymore, so it's gonna be on the C assets, right? So there it is. And um, what we can do now is that we can control here um, parameters we can also do it here by the way if we want to so that's easier but I'm going to put the near in zero and then I'm going to reverse the colors right and I'm going to use the smooth so you can see it's already pretty similar to what we were looking for now we want the the bottom one to be just above the floor level and um, now let's make this also white and now let's uh, change the opacity so boom that's the first step so you can see quite easy in a few steps we did it now let's start adding like more color right so what we can do now is that we can create another depth layer and this one it is going to be a radial gradient but maybe it's going to be something like this right and maybe also here like this and we can put this below this gradient so we start adding like some details there what we can do is that we can use the screen oh actually i did it in the wrong size so it should be more like here so that is one color there, yeah. Um, actually, let's see if I keep it normal. Maybe what I can try is to match it a little bit more with the background here. So if we see the background color, we can kind of like use this for this one here. That will make like a better transition. Let's also use a smooth. Let's make this smaller here and perhaps kind of start like moving things around, right? So. That doesn't look bad actually. We can move a little bit to the bot to the top and let's maybe duplicate this one and this other one. Now now that I think about it, I do want this to be uh, with I want it to be with some sort of opacity so we can actually mix things. So 
let me just go and select this one and move it a little to this side right could be something like this maybe smaller this one could be something like blue right and then again put it below could also be maybe perhaps a different shade of blue or more purple and this one could be maybe maybe perhaps a little yellow and um, this one something like that and if we duplicate it again put it below we move it and this one maybe could be your purple or red or something like this right and so there it is so actually this is a very simple effect you can keep playing with the gradients you can create more colors like for example you can also um kind of like uh let's say if we move this something like i don't know it could be something like this or more purple like like there all right that's it you can see it it was quite easy to achieve this result it's only one object and there were no lights so yeah i see you in the next tutorial bye bye